hearty good morning to all from my english reader course book turn page number 108 in our page number 108 we have lesson 10 the old children part 2 the old children is authorized by mika samuda who is well known for the books such as oxford junior readers The setting of the story is in the Indian village of Godamuri, Midnapur, West Calcutta. Before laying the foundation of the story, let us talk about the characters. This story has five characters. First, the Reverend Singh. Second, Mrs. Singh. Third, Amla. Fourth, Kamla, and fifth, Mrs. Singh's aunt. The Reverend Joseph Amrito Lal Singh had heard the tale of the demons and he wanted to know the fact of the demons. He had arranged a hunting party and tried to know something more about the hideous beings. He had viewed them as a human child, so he wanted to get them and learn something more. like how he would be able to give them a normal life like other children what was his idea what was his plan what happened to the old children everything we would come to know through this story so let's step into the story welcome back to the story the old children part 2 the reverend singh continued digging the ant hill and got a sight of four trembling creatures laying in a ball of fur and hair the ball was made up of two wolf cubs and two little girls mr singh was astonished because the children were almost recognizable as human beings they snarled and bit his hand as he tried to separate them from the cubs mr singh took the two girls to the orphanage at midnapur and handed over them to mrs singh mrs singh could hardly believe her eyes now let me introduce the old children to you both had thick rough skin on their hands knees and elbows were used to move means they moved on all fours when they wanted to go a short way they used their knees and elbows but when they wanted to run they would travel using their hands and feet so as a mother's care mrs singh gave them each a dish of milk they lapped up with their tongues she tried to touch them but they growled and snapped her hand then the girls were given the names amla and kamla amla means bright yellow flower and kamla means lotus flower now mr singh decided the discovery of the children to be kept a secret but as the day was shifting the people of midnapur came to learn about the old children how did it happen so because the orphanage echoed with their howling sound it was not normal it was strange something like the sound of any animal mr and mrs singh want to give them a normal life like other children so they wanted to get mingle both the girls with the other normal children the old girls were given toys to play with what did they do you know they both simply chewed them as if they were bones bones are hard isn't it and the toys were also hard so they took them as bones and chewed them next they were taken to the playground to play with the other children a boy tried to make friends with the old girls but they attacked and wounded him soon he was rescued from the playful attack it was noticed that only at night they become active they would howl and try their best to make an attempt to escape 
they had fully developed the wild life of the wolves they were nocturnals it was a big problem to educate them not only this it was a tough work to make them realize that they were not animals but human beings a month later both girls fell seriously ill and sadly amla died of kidney disease on 21 september 1921 After her death Kamla would sniff round for Amla's scent Then slowly but least improvement was seen in Kamla's behavior She started eating cooked meat and the day came when she made her first human sound Next Mrs Singh massaged Kamla's legs to stand upright In 1922 she could walk on her knees and a few months later she rose up on her two legs for the first time seeing this the reverend singh was delighted he acted as a father then some more improvements were seen she was no longer a terrific wolf child she started trusting on humans she managed to learn about 50 words by 1929 her life became busy in the orphanage garden and started talking to the flowers and animals such as chickens goats puppies and trees then suddenly mrs singh had to go to visit her aunt who was seriously ill now kamla was alone She couldn't understand why Mrs Singh had left her. For 2 weeks she went back to her old ways. When Mrs Singh was back, Kamla heard the words. Quick, Kamla, mama has come back. These words acted like a magic and Kamla ran to greet Mrs Singh. Both hugged each other. Unfortunately, on 14th November 1929 kamla died too of her kidney failure thus amla and kamla both died of the kidney problem thank you